Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing some reviews of some Atari 2600 homebrew games by a company called Jim and Tronic. I went to a game convention uh, a few weeks ago and I picked this up and what this is, and I'm going to show you here in a minute, it's a dual cart with two games on it. One's called Game Panic 3 and one's called BLT Blast. I've seen it called Bacon Blast before and I think I mistakenly mentioned it in a previous video that it was Bacon Blast, but it's it's labeled as BLT Blast. But anyway, I want to show you the cart before we get into the game play and the reviews for the different games. I'm also going to be reviewing some other games from Jim and Tronic that are online that I don't have carts for. But we're going to start with this and we're going to see what's in here. This is the game art. This is Jason. Jason is uh, one of the programmers for the for Jim and Tronic, and he uh, he created a lot of these games. So um, the artwork is kind of basic, but it's pretty nice. It's not bad. Um, very colorful logo. Um, little side art there, and then just the back. Pretty basic. So anyway, let's get into it and see what's in here. So. Okay, we have a label. That's really nice. That's cool. Um, and this is a instruction manual for the two games. So uh, Jason actually uh, signed this. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate that. Um, I've also got some more kudos for him a little later on in a video. You'll see. <laughs> but um, basically, it's just just simple instructions that's it not much to it and then the dual cart now i have never seen a dual cart for 2600 now I'm, they're probably out there if i would have looked into it i probably would have seen that there were some out there but this is the only one that i've ever seen and i'm a big proponent of supporting the homebrew community so when i saw jason at uh the gaming convention that i was at i had i had to buy i had to buy this so it's really cool one side is Bacon Blast and one side is uh, Game Panic. And it's just a just just your basic cart. That's really all there is to it. So um, without further ado, let's get into some gameplay and some reviews of some of these games. Now we're going to do the two games that are listed on this game cartridge first, but then we're going to get into some others. This first game is called BLT Blast. Now in this game, you're a magical flying stick of bacon. And your job is to shoot the ants, the flies, and the lettuce, and together the hamburgers and the hot dogs. Now, your bacon is a certain length when you start out. Now, if you collide with an ant or a fly or the lettuce, you will lose a life, but you will also make your bacon get shorter. Now, the reason why this is important in this game is that your point scores are based on the length of your bacon. So if you have a long stick of bacon, then you earn more points when you when you shoot and you gather the hot dogs and the hamburgers. So that's what you want to do. You want to gather the hot dogs and the hamburgers for points, but you want to shoot the ants, the flies, and the lettuce for points also. Now, you also don't want to shoot the hot dogs and the hamburgers because if you shoot the hot dogs or the hamburgers, you lose 100 points apiece. Now, by colliding with the fly, the hamburger, and the lettuce, not only you will lose a life and you will shorten the bacon. So you don't want to do any of that. It's kind of an addicting game. It's kind of fun. I haven't played it a whole lot, but it's, per it's a pretty cool premise. So this is a pretty cool game to show you. Yes, boys and girls, that's a copy of the Retro Bliss logo in a video game. How cool is that? <laughs> this game's called Game Panic 3, and it's the other game that was on the dual cart. I wanted to get a digital copy for review purposes, but I couldn't find one readily online. So I contacted Jason at Jim and Tronic to see how I could get one. And he said that there wasn't a release, but that he would be happy to send me a copy for review purposes only just for me. He then asked me for a copy of our logo, and I, I'm like, okay. So I sent him all that, and it wasn't very long later that he sends me the game, ROM. He, get, he sends me the ROM, and it, a copy of that logo there that's you know somewhat pixelated, whatever. And I boot up the video game, and there's the logo. 
How cool is that? That is awesome. Jason, thank you so much. I appreciate that. That was that made my day, buddy. This is a good game. It takes some time to get used to, um, but basically the object is to round up the carts while avoiding the invaders. You also have what he calls guest boxes uh, that you can pick up along the way that give you either a bonus score, uh, it'll either warp you to an elevator or it'll give you more time. I th they're the ones that have the little question marks on them. Um, the elevators are at each end of the screen and they open and close randomly. So if the invaders that do warp in, they warp in, they pause uh, briefly so you have a little bit split second time to avoid them. And they come in gray, I believe. And it's very random, so you just don't know when they're going to show up. Uh, the object is not to be contacted by an enemy or to run out of time. If you do, you'll lose a life. And there's an indicator at the bottom left that shows you how many lives that you have. And your character can also crouch to avoid some of the enemies. This game is called Night Bear. Now in this game, the aliens have ransacked an orphanage. So it's Night Bear's job to destroy the aliens, kill the boss, and save the souls of the poor orphan ghosts. There are magical lollipops that increase the power of Night Bear's throwing dagger. Rescuing the orphan ghost will heal you. At stage 9, it will reveal an ultimate alien that must be stopped. So in this game, it's kind of cool because um, by hitting the select button, you can change the stage in which Night Bear starts at. So this is, uh, your game stats aren't uh, saved, but you can at least start at a different stage if you'd like to. So, um, and fire obviously starts the game and launches the throwing dagger. So this is kind of a cool game. I, when I did the video capture of it, I really hadn't read the, the, the premise of the game too much. So, um, I could have did a little bit better when I got to uh, rescuing the orphan ghosts, <laughs> but, but it's a cool game. I love shooters. So this is another one of those shooters from Jim and Tonics. This next game is called shoot more blocks. And the idea of this game is that there are some falling blocks that are falling down on the city below. And your job is to shoot the blocks and make sure that they don't destroy the city. Now, this is really a two-player game. Um, and whoever gets the most points obviously wins a two-player game. But um, I didn't have a second player, so I just, I just played it on my own. Now, when I first put this in, I thought that the... Players could shoot themselves. I thought that might be kind of cool, you know, like in combat. But, you know, regardless, it's kind of fun. Now, there, there are these orbs, these round orbs that uh, show up. And if you shoot them at the right time, they can help destroy some of the blocks. So, um, the game is over when the city is totally destroyed. That's it. There's no really a whole lot more to that game. But it's still kind of fun. I'm a shooter's kind of guy, so anytime I can shoot something, I'm happy. So um, that's shoot more blocks. Last but not least, we have a game called Up Plus Plus. Now, at first glance, when you first see this game, you think it's a breakout knockoff of some kind, but it's it's actually not. Basically, you are a three-tiered ship. Each tier is basically one of your lives. And your job is to avoid what is called a status ball, which is the one that's bouncing, and the uh, lasers that are being shot up. And you're supposed to escape by going up through the top. Now, when you do that, you get all of your three-tier lives restored. This game um, gets a progressively harder as you go along. It's pretty cool. Um, as far as colors are concerned and the graphics, out of all the games that we've shown today, I'd say that this is probably my favorite. The colors are very vibrant and uh, the graphics are just more detailed than, than some of the other games that we've had. So um, this is an awesome game. It has 32 different levels and um, you can use a Genesis controller with this game reason why you might want a Genesis controller is that to do an accelerated down, you have to pull down on your joystick. Whereas if you have a Genesis controller, you can just hit another button and, and you'll go down um, more quickly. 
So um, anyway, um, fire is the only thing that you really need to thrust up. You just hit the fire button to thrust up and and you just go from one level to another to another to another until till you're done and it's a lot of fun i i think it's probably out of all the games that there are it's probably one of my favorites that we've done a review on today so this is a really great game i'm going to leave a link in the description where you guys can download all of the games that i've had in this review for the exception of game panic 3. it is not on their website However, when you do download, you will have an option to contribute to Gem and Tronics, which will help them to continue making content uh, for the homebrew community. So I, I highly suggest that I believe in supporting the homebrew community whenever possible. So if you haven't done so already, drop a like on the video and please subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot. Um, and with that, we want you to have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next one.